He's here for me. So, the folks at DreamWorks have just announced Moonry version 1.5. This is their latest update to their previously announced version released sometime in 2023. This ray tracing renderer has been used in various animated feature films such as Bad Guys and Puss in Boots The Last Wish, with updates to the VFX reference platform of 2023. And since its announcement of going open source, a lot of artists and studios have been looking forward to using it, as it bags a good level of credit with a high performance Monte Carlo ray tracer used on all recent DreamWorks films and designed to use all calls of all the machines keeping them busy all the time, with a hybrid and CPU rendering mode which produces 100% output. Alongside all of these, Moonray also supports the Hydra Delegate. There's also support for viewport rendering, AOVs, deep outputs, crypto math, and so on. And with version 1.5 doubling down on all of these features, it now supports even more, as there is now a brand new support for GPU rendering Denoiser, and this is done via the Open Image Denoiser version 2. This is also a very recent development that we've seen for Blender 4.1 update, as Denoisers are now being handled by GPUs instead of being done with CPUs. Another very similar update with Moonray, which we've also seen somewhere before, is an XPU mode. Pretty similar to what we have with Pixar Renderman, this uses a hybrid CPU and GPU for rendering, and for Moonray, this is now the default rendering mode. Moonray version 1.5 now introduces a new ramp control for volume and a telemetry overlay system. And in addition to all of this, there's also a couple of interesting upgrades as well, as Moonray now utilizes Embraer 4.1 for enhancing ray tracing performance and efficiency. And in terms of optics, this has now been upgraded to 7.6. They've also added an initial implementation to the new adaptive light sampling technique for those who like to work in HD Moonray. And of course, if you like playing with settings, there's also a good number of geo preview settings that you can now work with. This alongside a couple more interesting updates, which includes the support for CY 2023 specification of the VFX reference platform for Rocky Linux, which previously was introduced sometime in July of 2023, now has a final debut in version 1.5. There is also a separate development branch with support for VR rendering via the presence volumetric format. It is also worth mentioning that Moonray also supports multi scene rendering in a sense where you can have one asset in three to four different kind of lighting and you can preview all of these at the same time. This is definitely going to speed up the workflow, especially for look dev artists as you can preview one particular asset in four different lightings at the same time. There's also some several improvements to the dual tone material for non photorealistic looks and of course some bug fixes are also here. And hopefully, over time, we would get our hands to play with these and explore some of these cool features for ourselves. As Moray continues to evolve, this simply remains a testament of DreamWorks Animation commitment to advancing computer graphics and contributing to a wider community. And as we've seen before, this is still open source, still retains its licenses, and for companies and DCC apps thinking about implementing this, this is definitely going to be a welcome development. So whether you're a seasoned animator, a rendering artist, or a curious enthusiast, it is worth mentioning that you need to keep an eye for Moonray, and hopefully, we would get a chance to play and explore with this in the coming days once this gets publicly ported to either Maya, Blender, or any of the DCC tools that we like playing with. So, this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Moonray version 1.5, an industry standard open source rendering tool from the folks at DreamWorks, is now here. And for anyone who likes to read up on all of these, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace. I've enjoyed the chase, Gato. But I think we've reached the end now.